टूडे आई उल डिसकस अबाउट क्लॉक डायल चार्ट फॉर एस्टिगमेटिज्म करेक्शन क्लॉक डायल चार्ट हेल्प्स टू आइडेंटिफाई एस्टिगमेटिक एक्सिस एंड एस्टिगमेटिक पावर इवन विदाउट रेटिनोस्कोप एंड ऑटो रिफ्रेक्टोमीटर क्लॉक डायल चार्ट कॉन्टेंस ए सीरीज ऑफ थ्री लाइन्स ऑफ इक्वल लेंथ फ्रॉम द सेंटर ईच सीरीज ऑफ लाइन कॉन्टेंस ए नंबर सिमिलर टू फेस ऑफ ए क्लॉक द गैप बिटवीन नंबर इज थर्टी डिग्री Don't forget to subscribe our channel for more videos. Now let's see what are the prerequisites of using this chart. Refractive status: monocular spherical correction should be placed in the trial frame before starting the test. Chart will be needed snarl distance visual acuity chart and clock dial chart. Room distance: 6 meters or 3 meters with a mirror. Trial box: In the trial box will be needed trial frame spherical and cylinder lenses and occluder Now let's see procedure of the test The procedure of the test can be divided into following steps Step 1 placing monocular spherical correction Step 2 fogging of testing eye Step 3 identifying astigmatic axis Step 4 identifying astigmatic power and five writing final prescription now step 1 placing monocular spherical power ask the patient to sit comfortably and wear the trial frame occlude the left eye that is non testing eye and place the monocular spherical acceptance in the trial frame before right eye that is testing eye now step 2 fogging the testing eye add plus power in 0.25 diopter steps till patient's visual acuity reduced by 1 to 2 lines suppose after placing plus 1 diopter in plus 0.25 diopter steps patient is saying that 6 by 6 line and 6 by 9 line is blurred and 6 by 12 line is readable now let's move to the next steps step 3 identifying cylinder axis ask the patient to look at the clock dial chart patient is asked to identify which line is more clearer or darker than other lines if all the lines are equally dark then there is no astigmatism if a particular line is darker than other lines then cylinder axis equal to smaller notation of the line multiplied by 30 Suppose patient is saying that 612 line is darker than other lines so cylinder axis will be smaller notation of the line multiply by 30 or 6 multiply by 30 or 180 degrees step 4 identifying cylinder power the cylinder power required to make all the lines equally dark is the astigmatic power for the patient to identify the power minus cylinder trial lens is placed with the axis mark aligned with the identified axis now minus cylinder power is added in minus 0.25 diopter steps till all the lines are equally dark suppose after adding minus 0.25 diopter cylinder patient is saying that 126 line is still darker so we will increase another minus 0.25 diopter cylinder Now with minus 0.5 diopter cylinder patient is saying that 126 line is still clearer we must increase another 0.25 diopter cylinder finally with minus 0.75 diopter cylinder patient is saying that all the lines are equally dark now so minus 0.75 diopter cylinder will be our cylinder power we can add another minus 0.25 diopter cylinder to check reversal If patient sees 90 degree apart or perpendicular line that is 39 of previous line darker than the other lines then previous power is the final astigmatic power but if patient is still seeing 126 line clearer than the other lines then again we have to add another minus 0.25 diopter cylinder to check the reversal now step 5 writing final prescription The identified cylinder power with the axis is written alongside the monocular spherical power. For this patient, final prescription will be monocular power, whatever it is, 
and minus 0.75 diopter cylinder at 180 degree axis. Repeat the steps to identify astigmatic axis and power for the left eye. Limitation of clock dial chart High axis range The lines are 30 degree apart, so the axis will be 0, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150 and 180. Axis that falls between 0 to 30, 30 to 60, 90 to 120, 120 to 150 and 150 to 180 can't be identified, such as 10 degree, 20 degree, 40 degree, 50 degree, etc. It's a subjective test. Confirmation of axis and power depend on patient response. If patient doesn't understand the procedure, it may affect the accuracy of the cylinder axis and cylinder power. Stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly.